Oh, Jesus. Yo, what's going on guys? Riot here playing Ark Survival Evolved, checking out just some more crazy stuff that's been released in the past week. A few Jurassic Park Raptors right behind me, or a couple, not a few. A freaking nuke! A nuke! And I know there's been multiple nukes in this game before, there's been nuke-sized bombs, there's been creatures that shoot nukes that are actually just giant missiles with huge explosions. There's even the nuke to spawn in Zilla, which we have Zilla in here today, I'm gonna see how his ass does against a real nuke. Even though in real life, I know Godzilla would gain more strength off like more nuclear energy, whatever. This is Zilla, you know, his ass, I'm pretty sure would die from a nuke. And, um, yes, I think there's something else, but I forgot it. So apologies to the mod developer who is in this. What am I talking about? Gibberish, absolute gibberish. So here we have the Jurassic Park Raptors. These guys, I freaking, I love these things right here. There's been a few attempts at Jurassic Park Raptors that have just fallen completely flat. But these guys are beautiful, the female and the male. Look at those colors, look at those indentations on the face and those little hairs poking out. What would that be like, Jurassic Park 3 Raptors? Either way, I love this. And a lot of you guys have been asking, where's my Jurassic Park series? Well, I've been adding so many mods to it that the whole thing kind of shit itself. And apparently the only way to repair it is to wipe the whole thing clean. Which, I'm, I was, this was like, this was announced a couple weeks ago. Sorry for everyone who doesn't care about this, just gonna say it real quick. And, um, it was sad at the time, but now it's been a few weeks and I think I'm ready to refresh the series because there's so many other gorgeous maps we could go to. Alright, so this guy, level 52, what's going on, handsome, only 500 health. Yeah, it's pretty much a standard vanilla raptor. See, these guys make me sad that I don't have my Jurassic Park series because I would be so down to put these guys into a, um, a paddock. Look at that tail. Ew, why does it seem so creepy to me? It seems, it's because it's relatively shiny or it looks like one of those freaky ass worms. You guys ever seen those horrifying videos online of like putting an insect like a bee or a praying mantis into water and those parasites exit their body and it's just like the scariest thing ever? That's exactly what that reminds me of. This raptor's very crisp and clean. I love this fellow. This thing's perfect. They do come with saddles as well. You're not supposed to just fly above them. They come with specific saddles. A lot of people might like the female more though because her coloring is also really cool. It's great attention to detail. I love this mod. This is like the best Jurassic Park Raptor mod we've had in a while. Which brings me to my next thing. The main point of today's video. I tried to make that as quick as possible. Sorry for everyone that pissed off. Hang on, no thermonuclear parts. You know what we need. U-235. This is a uranium ring used to initiate fission or fusion process. No fission. Place inside a thermonuclear bomb and detonates, and then of course the radar will detect a launch, a nuclear launch and sound alarm. This right here is actually really special, because if anyone else on your server, I forgot to spawn in the bomb, I'm gonna do that now, but if anyone else on your server is, um, is messing around with bombs or with nukes, this will let you know. Actually, I'm gonna put this bad boy down, or do you just keep it on you? Do you just hold it? What is this black magic? Alright, I've got the nuke in my inventory now. Ooh, this is gonna be exciting right here. Just gonna put this bad boy down right here. I mean, I have dev commands on right now. I'm not gonna die anyways. Although, I'll bring my raptors back with me. Ooh, this is so much fun. I'll bring my raptors back with me. Just run back a few hundred yards just to see if they survive. You know, obviously, I'm gonna test it out after this with, like, more epic creatures anyways. This poor bastard's gonna die. You're gonna be our nuclear test subject today, buddy. Sorry about that, but I have no other plans for you. Where do I keep putting this dang thing? No, there it is, right there in my inventory. Look at this bad boy. Look at this thing. This is so freaking cool, this mod. This is like, the way it's held, everything. It's just so realistic. Whoever made this, I didn't even think, I just saw it on the dev kit, and I was like, oh, great. Another bomb explosion mod, whoop de doo And then I clicked on it, and I was like, what is this? This is crazy. All right, so these the thermonuclear device, thermonuclear device parts are various parts used to craft a bomb. Those are just in there because I spawned them in for no reason whatsoever. It's the uranium source. You gotta drop that bad boy in here. What's the health on this thing? It's 50,000 health. So it can be stopped, by the way. The nuke does go off if you destroy it or if you basically like detonate. And then it starts getting crazier and more and more unstable. But you can also abort the detonation. Ooh, doggy. There we go. This is so exciting. Sorry I'm being so stupid right now. It's very freaking late for me. And, um... I just don't make a lot of sense when it gets late. I've streamed for like three hours today, man. I'm allowed to be a little goofy. All right, I suppose we'll get running in a second because I think we have about a minute. Wait, no, I'm gonna go hear the alarm. The alarm better be making. Oh, looks like you're gonna make it out of here in the end, bro. That's actually kind of exciting. All right, where is this thing? Should be hearing a bit of noise out of you, I'd imagine, right now. This alarm is failing because there is very clearly some sort of unstable. Look at that thing. It just starts emitting all kinds of energy growing larger and larger before final detonation. Ooh, this shit's exciting. Oh my god! Dude, the raptors survived, are you serious? Nope, nope, there they go. It seems the explosion grows in 
area. Oh my god, yeah, we'd be dead too. I'm backing up this whole time too, and it's still just growing towards us. So as you can see, somehow we're actually cold in the bottom right of our screen. That's actually kind of silly. If you if you kind of avert your eyes, no, it's like complete nuclear fallout. What the shit is this? Was this one of my raptors? Oh my god. It's already taken. Look at this bomb though. Like this was not joking around right now. We're only even able to be remotely down here because I have dev commands on. But it just lays complete atomic waste to everything. Dude, we can't believe the trees don't blow down. And it kind of just stays like this for a while, too. It's not like the light goes away after a while. Like, this... This stays a problem. After a while, though, it does kind of do this. Like, if you look away and kind of miss the textures or whatever. Not the textures. That's the wrong thing altogether. But, actually, no. This one disappeared way quicker than the last one. What the heck? So there you see, though, the nuke is not messing around. Like, that is not some little arc explosion right there. That is the most impressive giant blast, like, large-scale explosion I've seen in this game ever. I can't imagine it won't be long until this is, like, utilized in more hilarious ways. Some- what in the shit happened to this raptor? Some mod developer is gonna do something- what the fuck happened to that raptor? Dude, that guy stretches on for miles. Look at that. Like, into the next biome. Oh look, the Jurassic Park raptors are already in this world, tearing ass up, they're all around. I wonder if they just replace all raptors, that's actually... I haven't seen any normal, normal raptors, it's just been Jurassic Park ones. So I think I'm just gonna go- oh, no, there they are, making me look stupid. Right on cue, I think I'm gonna go over to here, I have the AVP mod in here because I've been having a lot of fun with Xenos lately on my channel. And I feel like it'd be fun now that the Queen Xenos- god, there's just so much going on everywhere you go in this game, look at these guys. Frickin' Congo lion chasing a monkey. You can't make that stuff up. But now that the Queen Xeno is able to lay eggs with face huggers coming out of them, I've never wanted to nuke anything more than an area consumed with face huggers and Xeno eggs. Right here looks perfect. Alright, it was definitely a mistake just spawning them all in like that. I mean, just all on top of each other. Actually, that'd be perfect if they just stayed frozen. They're obviously not gonna stay in a finite small area just laying eggs. They're gonna spread out and basically just populate the entire area with eggs. Every minute on the queue, an egg drops out of their rectum. And that's what I'm looking forward to right now, baby. All right, so I'm gonna put this down right here. Just kind of prepare our nuclear device. God, I freaking love this thing. Drop you in there. It's well armed, ready, ready to be detonated. How are you guys doing? Ooh, Lordy, is that already an egg right there? I see and a couple down there too. Oh, if you just stayed stuck like this, man, that would be so perfect. They would just look at the foot. You couldn't ask for a better setup than this right here. This is as good as it will ever get. As far as laying eggs in a finite area, like they're just gonna spam those bad boys right there. You goofy bastards! What's going on over here? Oh, see, this is what happens. A couple stray off from the area, lay a few eggs, and then all kinds of other issues start happening. I know it's not a thing in the mod, but if it was where the eggs could like hatch around dinosaurs and grip onto their faces, but of course they would have to completely reanimate the Zion like Xeno Raptors and everything, which I would be fully down to give all my money towards, but I don't even know who would begin to do that or anything, but that sounds actually like the best thing I've ever heard. Actually, no, my favorite one still to this day is the, uh, no, I don't even know what they're called though. The main, the main infantry insect from Starship Troopers. The, uh, the arch done for, like, one of those as a Xeno, that shit is nuts. My girlfriend had to really talk me out of a tattoo of one of those. Look, dude, there it is. Eggs opening up in the wild. I'm not getting too close because th somehow these things bypass all dev commands, even with god mode on. And enemy invisible, so I'm invisible and I can't die. They still managed to grip onto my face and kill me. So, I'm gonna go ahead and keep my distance. But how great is that, dude? Just rat <laughs> wild spawning in your world. Just running along with your friends, gonna go kill a T-Rex, and then boom, face hugger on your face. Like, that is, that is just amazing. All right, these guys aren't producing nearly enough, so I'm gonna speed everything up, because I want to nuke a lot of children. All right, so I've been observing these queens for about, like, two minutes with the game on 100% fast forward, so it goes lightning fast, and they've yet to drop any more eggs. I'm wondering if they just legit have to be, like, moving around to be granted the gift of oh my god so many face huggers just came out holy shit blow the bomb blow the area blow the area blow the area oh my god did you guys just see that oh looks like there were eggs spawning but they were just on top of each other like stacked infinitely stacked so you couldn't see the difference and then you walk up and like freaking 20 face huggers just fly out oh my god that whole area needs to be nuked so badly wow this looks so pretty look at arc litten up with Nuclear air, look at this, this is just wild right here. This is the perfect late night video of like ever. The most perfect. Hang on, it's not official yet. Now we're cooking. 
Now it's science. This radar is just is failing me, man. Oh, it's about to go off. That's that final bit of unstable. Holy shit! Look at us, the frog, that one Xeno Queen man. Oh, nope, she's dead. She's dead and everyone else is dead as well. Oh my god, I wish I could see the damage impact. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? The next one I'm gonna take to the sky and then we'll really see. Actually, on the next one, we'll just nuke Godzilla and then while we're nuking Godzilla, we'll fly up above and see the impact. Just look at this shit! Holy crap, I wonder if it's possible. I hear, you can hear the sounds of like trees cracking. I wonder if it's possible to implement the like the damage or whatever it is that when a, when a large creature walks through and trees drop. But give that to the nuke mod. So then all the trees would fall too. Except in all like the nuclear videos, like freaking palm trees are always just blown completely horizontally sideways. Look at that. Look at that creature just dead in the air all the way up there. What the what? Yeah, these eggs. Oh my god. The, this, is the, this is the worst nightmare right here. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. It's not dead. Oh my god. The eggs are freaking indestructible at the moment. Oh my god. That is horrifying. That is a terrifying thing. So the queens are all dead. Look at this. It looks like one giant, like, exploded disgustingness. I don't even want to get into what that looks like. But it looks... That looks so gnarly. Look, there are. There's so many eggs on top of each other. I did not know. Oh my god. Oh my god. I made the same mistake. Same mistake. All right, I'm just going to abandon this area. You know what? They, they've earned their place on the top of the food chain. I'm not here to uh, try and guide Mother Nature. Oh my god, there's seriously eggs all the way out here? Dude, that is freaky. Look at this. I placed those queens down all the way over there. And there's a quite the abundance of eggs still just over here. Oh, there's so many. That is so freaky. I'll never get tired of that cool animation right there. He did such an amazing job. There's another one. Oh my- Whoa, there's a bunch in that one! Oh my god. Alright, well this is either a victim of the nuclear explosion or someone seriously needs to alert the FBI because anyone dies in that position and it's usually a no-no crime. Alright, the monkey survived all the way out here. Really? I kinda- I guess you can't kill like- what? Oh my god, seriously though, a nuke- a, like, <laughs> Delivering a nuke to someone's base would be the most hilarious thing on the planet. So basically what I think we're gonna do here, how would I keep Godzilla in this area? Honestly, I think if I just like, if I just set it off and then let it, god look how cool this thing looks, just chilling in this area. Just you can just, just do so many beautiful things with this thing in Ark. It's, it's honestly, I can't imagine a lot of people letting it onto their server. I feel like everyone should let it onto their servers though, because every freaking multiplayer server I play on, everyone has like a hundred dinos and it's all overpacked and everything. If these were going off all the time, there'd be a lot less people, a lot less creatures, a lot less lag. Ooh, except for the initial giant lag spike. Alright, so I'm not exactly sure how strong we should make Zilla over here. Look at these two hanging out like best old friends. He's a level 10, or, so I'm thinking that should be fine. I mean, he's like the auto command was at level 1. It's still a pretty powerful beast. I would imagine it's going to be hit vaporized no matter what level it is though, but I don't know. I feel like level 100, not everyone plays with like levels where they go up to the thousands and everything, you know? So I'm thinking I'm just going to detonate this bad boy and then leave everything frozen for like 5 seconds. It really ruins the explosion if everything's frozen though, so right before and then just unfreeze it. I'm sharing with you guys in case I fail. Oh my god, this is going to be nuts. Oh, this is going to be nuts. Oh, I can already tell this is going to be straight up donkey nuts. Alright, time to unfreeze everything now. Zilla, you're free to walk around, bud. He's just gonna stand there. Oh, the poor innocent bastard. Make sure to smack that like button, by the way, if you like these nuclear explosions and you want to see him in more videos. I think I'm gonna add him to my subscriber server. I feel like that would be hilarious. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, look at that explosion. It's like as far up as you could possibly go. We're so high up in the sky. We're just still completely... This is beautiful, man. I mean, it, it's rare that things are added to Ark that just completely make me so happy inside. Look at this high up we are. The entire land has just been completely nukes. There's no other word for it. There really isn't. They, the dude who called it nukes originally knew exactly what the hell he was doing. Oh my god. I can't see anything still. This is like, this is, this is doomsday right here. Doomsday mod like crazy. Oh my god, this just needs to be a thing in my server right here. Everyone's giant armies would be meaningless when a nuke gets dropped. I suppose you can't drop a nuke though. These have to be set off. He's freaking barren wasteland. I still can't see any. Look at this. Redonkulous, homie. Redonkulous. Oh, and then finally. We were so high up, but it's still just infinite whiteness and destruction. I assume God's. Oh my god, look at that. That is never good. Look at the way he died. You know what's weird? 
is this guy. How the hell did you survive? What are you smoking? You were right there. Here we have Godzilla's tail. This could not be more of a perfect death, by the way. Just lean it all. Look at this guy. Oh my god. How did how are you just walking around fine? This dude's gonna have like four-legged kids and stuff like that. But there you have it, guys. Well, of course it was gonna vaporize him. I just wanted to see it vaporize him. You know, that's like the whole exciting thing. Are you just a rock? I thought you were a dead creature. What the hell? Alright, so that was fun as a mofo right there. This nuke makes everything so much more exciting. Ah, oh, I'm stuck in a hole. Oh my god, this thing is awesome. So yes, um, obviously a lot of my subscribers on the server might not like it being added, but I mean, the server's about to be wiped anyways. So I think we should, I kind of want to take it in a different direction this time. No more just giant overpowered purple and blue crazy creatures with flames coming out of their balls and everything. Those ones are awesome as all hell, but I already, we have another server for that anyways. The, this one's going to be, oh, I just want to do like full on military tactics, dude. I don't know. There's so many things going through my mind right now. I had so many things before this nuke blew this Godzilla in this hilarious position. I gotta think this stuff over. I'm quiet and rambling. It's dangerous right there. Alright, so if you guys had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Peace! Yeah.